Welcome back to TTC. We've previously tested how things like flashlights, car horns, and even lasers on Amazon measure with equipment, nothing like they advertise. And the number one request we've gotten from you guys in the comments is if you think that's bad, take a look at headlight bulbs on Amazon. A typical halogen bulb is around 1000 lumens. These LED imports are advertising things like 10,000, 16,000, 36,000 lumens. So we bought eight of the top Amazon choices based on price, sales, and specs to lumen test them in our very DIY light integration sphere that has though been calibrated using an independent lab, plus see how these work in headlamps that they were designed for and things like color temperature and how many watts they take. So let's dive in, in order of price, but we're gonna start first with halogen bulbs for now since that's likely what came in your car if you're shopping for bulbs. We're going to be using this replacement Chevy Impala headlamp for testing, as it's sort of what we had around here at the time, and mainly because its main beam takes an H11 socket size bulb, which is the most common size, so might be a good place to start. Now we've bought simply the most popular and highest spec bulbs on Amazon, so that often leaves out maybe the most professional top tier brands, so suggest some of those below if you'd like to see those tested. But first up is the OE replacement bulbs that come with this headlight. So we have a power supply that can provide well over the wattage each of these are gonna ask for and dial up the voltage to what the car might be running at rather than simply a battery's volts to 59, 59.5 watts in this case, which is quite a bit. These are halogen after all. And that's good for, as we found, 1,085, 1,090 lumens. The best we could find for these was that they should be around 1,000 lumens out of the box. And they cost you $11 for that, so it's looking pretty good so far. And how it looks in person in a headlamp is as you'd expect. All these bulls will be shot here with this same camera setting, which here it looks a bit dim. Yes, not washed out. Okay, crispiness as far as clean lines go and pretty warm in color matching its 3100K rating, which is roughly what this should be at, which all the halogen bulbs we bought matched as measured. We're gonna give this an admittedly subjective four out of 10 score for how this looks, middle of the road with some room for improvement. Now, if you head over to your local auto parts store for a bulb, this might be the main name brand that you'd see in the aisles, Sylvania, which makes various performance levels of bulbs which we'll touch on, but this is their basic, a $22 pair. It advertises 1,345 lumens, and compared to the stock ones, 59 and a half watts, it's taking up more juice at 63.3 watts. Of those 1,345 lumens, it makes 1,140, 1,150, 1,120, we'll call that 1,140. Okay, so not 1,345, and pretty close to the standard bulb that we tested, really. But does it look noticeably brighter? In the headlight, it looks sort of cooler, but measured the same color temp. Not sure what that is, but it does look better. It is a tiny bit brighter. It gets five out of 10, not bad. Okay, onto a couple high performance upgrade options. Sylvania's one step up extra vision and two steps up, not just Silver Star now, we're talking Silver Star Ultra from Sylvania. The extra is only $2, well, extra over the basic as a $24 pair and the ultra is a cool 45 bucks so ultra expensive too in comparison and yet they both again like the basic advertise 1345 lumens with just light clarity and down road range being their primary features they're advertising despite reviews mostly talking about more brightness it would seem that with a given volts and amps the halogen bulb is just going to give you a given amount of lumens. Well, the extra vision here is soaking up 64.8 watts and the ultra, it takes less uh, up to 60. And this results in the extra vision coming in with 1360, 1380, 1370 lumens. Yeah, about 1380 out of the 1345. Nice. With the ultra accomplishing 1290. Yeah, we're calling that at solid 1290 lumens. But in person, things are flipped a bit on their head. The extra looks pretty much like the basic Sylvania, maybe a tiny bit brighter in the center. Five and a half out of 10, it looks a little bit cleaner. While the ultra looks a lot better, sort of at everything. Again, this is subjective, but in person I'm calling this 
a 7 out of 10, a noticeable improvement, and the first bulb you could tell which one you had in the housing without checking. Much of that, I'm sure, is due to this one being rated for a cooler 4000K, which we measured after calibrating as 4300K. This sort of blue filter over the lens may have lost it a few lumens, but made for a clearer light spread that looks much cleaner and is obviously cooler as well. But a downside of halogen bulbs like these is lifetime. We're talking 325, even 150 on the extra vision. Are they for real? That's, that's not a lot. Aftermarket LED bulbs, not to be confused with real OEM style HIDs, aim to solve that by advertising thousands and tens of thousands of hours and tens of thousands of lumens to go along with it. So our first selection from the Holy Lumen Empire in order of price is going to be this Law 2 Light 16,000 lumens super bright low beam fog light 80 watt 600% brighter LED headlight conversion kit which is the cheapest LED kit in this size range at the time of purchase, just $15 on Amazon. And like many aftermarket LED replacement bulbs, these have extruded aluminum type finned bases with little fans in them to cool it while running. These also accept more volts as well. And in this one's case, yeah, it's bright. We found that since all these LED models are two-sided and are basically two different cob arrays, lowering them into our integrating sphere just makes this thing sort of wig out. So the only accurate way to measure these is to measure them like they were a flashlight emitting out one side and then doubling that. This proved to be super consistent. This bulb, which says 80 watts in the title, that's likely a halogen comparing figure, takes about 32 watts, which is still quite a bit for an LED. And let's not forget this thing is saying 16,000 lumens, which by my math would take somewhere on the order of 220 to 250 watts from your little headlight pigtails, even if it's running LEDs. So while halogen options were, well, more or less what they were advertised, this law two is coming in with just 13% of advertised, ouch. Well, this could be as much as maybe 26% of advertised if you total both bulbs, I suppose, but Sylvania doesn't do it that way. However, this, this is pretty crispy and, and bright. Gotta say, I expected a wide, foggy display for a two-sided LED of this price range. This doesn't look bad at all. It's gotta be a step above the ultra halogen, though some of that shocking difference is color temperature. This bulb advertises 6,500K. We measured it as 6,600K, and it does lend itself on the cool end of white for sure, which for you, maybe that's not ideal. Eight out of 10 though, it does look good to these eyes. But this is something worth keeping in mind for these two-piece style bulbs. One thing you have to be careful about is the ones that are two-piece, they have this sort of spin-on collar that can be removed. These non-one-piece design ones uh, they may be a little bit more tricky to spin on, but that's usually not the issue. It's when you're removing it, this collar, because of this O-ring, because of this gasket, is under tension, so it may stay in place. Okay, so our next purchase is the best-selling LED light bulb on Amazon. This is the Autune LED Headlamp Bulbs 2022 Gen DRL, or low beam fanless mini size car bulb. <laughs> These were $28 and advertised 18,000 lumens. And just to give you an idea, at the time of purchase, these were ranked 98th in all of Amazon automotive, like anything, meaning they sell around seven to 8,000 sets of these a month. Yowza. Pretty simple on these, no fan as the title implies. They look like okay bright and slightly less bluish than the last ones in person which makes sense they advertise 6,000K white and it measures 6,100K for us, so that's probably true. Due to having no fan after a couple of minutes of use, it's around 105 Fahrenheit at the base and 122 to 124 at the light. The hottest the fan one got was 119 after the same amount of time, but that was at the base showing that that heat sink design with fan seems to work. But that's nothing compared to halogen. Your stock bulbs you may be running in your car, we saw easily get up to 330 to 390 after being turned off. Though I guess that's to be expected for halogen. It seems the Autune keeps heat in check by simply drawing less watts maybe, as it takes just 21 watts or two thirds of the last LED model we tested. Let's see if that hurts its light output. It shouldn't with an 18,000 lumen rating, but we're looking at 830, 850, 820, yeah, 830 lumens, which doubles when you measure the other side, totaling 1660 out of 18,000. That's just 9% in 
Yikes. When you screw it into a headlamp, at first it looks a bit like the Latu, but you'll notice there's a lot of extra little shapes and nonsense surrounding the beam. And the top and bottom, it's a lot less crisp than the last one. Wider, more blurry edges and more splashes of light on the top and bottom that don't belong here. This gets a 5 out of 10. I think the average person would say, hey cool, this is brighter and like that, but it's also a bit messier. Definitely the worst option so far, and it's the best selling on Amazon. That is just so far though, there's always room for whatever you would call the opposite of improvement. Here we have the Oxbeam LED Light Bulbs S3 Series Extremely Bright 10,000 Lumens Xeon White CSP Chips Conversion Kit Plug and Play Halogen Replacement. Whew. These were 30 bucks and they're gold, so right off the bat you know that's quality. This is another 6500K color temp rated light, though showed a bit warmer for us at 6150K. That's sort of nice. We bought these because they were on the lower end of the crazy lumen LED claims with just 10,000 lumens, few advertised single digit thousands, and these have these neat little ridges on the cooling fins, so was curious if that worked better with the fan. And as it turns out, the coolest running light we bought on the day at 109 degrees max, and that's on all of these cooling fins too, so it seems like it works. It does take 27 and a half watts, which is so far middle of the road. And as for lumens, it makes 1220, 1240, 1270, yeah, 1270 lumens. These are quite simple to aim only one side into the sphere as you get a shadow line across the thickness of that sphere cut out. So 1270 is quite good because that's doubled as 2540, which is just over 25% of advertised. That's a big win when you look at these others. Definitely the best so far. Oh, that is until you put them in a headlamp, then they're absolutely garbage. Listen, this may seem good if you're trying to paint a whole wall white with spread out light, but this is not. This would result in no range and just illuminating everything in front of you, not the road. Really poor, one out of 10. Now we believe this may be due to the bulb being clocked at like a two and eight o'clock position rather than the standard side by side three and nine o'clock positions they usually are, but to adjust that, LED bulbs often have little set screws that you can dial that in and then tighten back up. This one only has a threaded hole for the screw, only one orientation you can install it in, that's a big fail. Okay, onto our last and most expensive set, partly because you can only buy these as a four piece set. That's for 60 bucks. This is the KW Huvolvi, K, K Huvolvi. Uh, okay, just gonna call this KW. Low beam, high beam LED headlight bulbs combo, 36,000 lumens, 700% brighter LED headlights conversion kit, LED headlight. Yes, 36,000 lumens, and that's not like 36,000 lumens per four pieces. There are two piece set of these in a 9012 style socket bulbs, say 24,000 lumens, and those are lower output socket size bulbs. So these should be 36,000 lumens per piece. Well, at least per pair, none of these percentages have been close either way you look at it. This is the first light that comes with some type of ballast deal over here. And with that soaks up as much as around 40 watts, getting close to the stock halogen levels with LEDs now. This model advertised 6500 color temperature and we saw 6450, that seems spot on. As for peak lumen output, this guy is seeing 1290, 1270, 1310, yeah, 1300 lumens or 2600 total output, the most on the day. And it's not trash in a headlamp either. I would say it's crispiness, like defined lines is quite good. Just a bit more random streaks and splotches of lights added here and there that keep this looking more like the Autun, but better and certainly brighter. Yeah, so we're calling this seven out of 10. It could be like a nine out of 10 if it were sort of cropped here and didn't have extra bits on the top and bottom. And that makes it, yeah, that's 7% of advertised. It did say 36,000 after all, which would likely melt your headlight housing if it were ever to make it there. So which of these would I buy again if I had to? Probably this, I suppose, because it's so cheap for how good it looks in person in the headlamp. At this price, honestly, it's worth just giving it a shot, and if you don't like them, then eh, not much lost. I was hoping one of these warmer color ones would do well, but they just didn't. Then for pure specs performance, it's probably these. Maybe go with LEDs you see using these little ballast looking additions as an indicator of pure power, possibly. In halogen, extra vision did best on paper, but has the worst lifetime and looked the same in person to me as the basic. So 
basic Sylvania or ultras. Maybe I'll throw these ultras in my car and I'll let you know if they kick the bucket. You guys were right though, some ludicrous lumen claims on these things. Really, there's nothing stopping these brands from writing anything they want in the title. I doubt you're expected to buy all of them, then compare them on your own or own an integrating sphere. So recommend more below if you want to see them. Some pricey name brands as well, maybe. We make episodes at least every Friday. Click subscribe to catch those. And thanks for watching.